service anywhere but to the libero of NU. So FU is going to have to put extra effort in the service department if they want to avoid NU's libero totally. Now, and very interesting observation about the flexibility of the FEU players. Each player is actually trained to be all positions so that just in case coach puts them there, sanay na sila and hindi sila mabibigla. That's FEU culture for you, Eric. Thanks, Ricky. Wow, isn't that, isn't that a little confusing, especially if you're, you're a young player, you're just 16, 17, and already you're being asked to do so many things, you know, in, in just a simple one, one little game. But I guess the coaches ask the players to do that because they see that they can do it. They, I mean, they see that uh, it will confuse. So it's not a blanket players. rule for everyone. I don't think it is. I, I personally yeah. know some players who have played a certain position all throughout their lives. But in the case of FEU, like what I've mentioned earlier, that's what I've noticed. That a lot of their players are flexible. And I guess, um, as we, I mentioned again earlier, it's with the training program that they have in their school. So I guess that starts as well with the kind of scouting that they have. They yes. actually look for players who are versatile, who can yes. be uh, in many positions in this game. That's right. But in the case of Cherry, maybe because I Starting and form wise, um, the power wasn't there yet, and it was just in FEU that I saw her develop and really mature into mature and uh, become a good uh, volleyball player. Now, a short for the rookie Peñaranda, point is given to National University, but they've got a lot of, a lot of catching up to do. Down by three here, 8 11. Now let's hear from Maan Panganiban. Yes, Eric, let's take advantage of the Shira Less FEU squad. Coach Dan emphasized that the girls need to keep their composure. Kahit na kuwana ng FEU yung first set. This is what worries Coach Dan. Going back to my first report, how are these girls going to keep up with FEU if their confidence is faltering and now on the floor? The girls need to anticipate any offense employed by FEU. Magsipag lang tayo sa pagkuha ng bola. And NU's floor defense and blocking were effective in the early part of the first set. Coach Dan kept motivating the girls to never get tired to go for the block, the slide, and whatnot. And also, Coach pointed out that the errors are just doing them no good, so let's try to lessen them. Eric? Thank you, Ma. I guess uh, a, a good model for NU to actually look at is Adamson. They're not a very tall team, yeah. as well as Adamson, but Adamson is such a scrappy team. Yes. You know, they run for I loose agree. balls, they, they chase down the ball every single time and that's what NU should, should try to emulate I guess. That's right. Even in basketball right, they say that usually it's defense that wins the game. Yes. I guess in volleyball it also applies because you'd give your opponent a rather difficult time in getting a point if you have a very scrappy defense. Sagun checks in for Ralianka. Let's see if the, the Lady Bulldogs heed Dante Alinsunuren and just become a bit more aggressive defensively here and try to frustrate this very versatile offense of FEU. Cabanag sets it up for Tianco. Just got it barely into the NU side and gets the point for FEU. It wasn't such a strong hit from Tianco, but the, the block was weak and it wasn't angled enough for the ball to bounce back to the FEU side. That's right. Mangi. Just a good block there by FU, but it was out. And you down by four, 10 14, looking for their first win. The 72nd season. It's been a very rocky start, though, for FU as well. They're not just coasting along this season without the likes. Moradas and of course Dakis. It's 2-2 uh, two -two for FEU. And they've split all their games so far. They're looking for their first winning streak here in the 72nd season. And of course, uh, the absence of Shira clearly is not helping the team even in this game. Although they've won the first set, we see that uh, somehow the way they play is not the usual FEU game that we see. Coach Nespa Milan with two players. Remigio or Remigio and Custodio checking in for Jose and Peñaranda. 
Well, Coach Alin Sununin does the same as well. Bautista will come in for Soliven. And De La Cruz replaces Salibad. Fresh legs for both teams. Let's see how that affects the game, especially for NU as they try to overcome this four-point deficit against FEU. De La Cruz, the back set for Mandy. Bianco. Ooh, De La Cruz with a struggle there to actually pick up the ball, which was hit from the back row. And uh, FEU on top, 16-11 here in set number two. And you Lady Bulldogs with a good start in set number one had the six-point advantage against FEU. But after FEU grabbed the lead, they never looked back. They won the first set and FEU is on top still here in set number two, 16-11. Mervik Mangi, 16 points in NU's loss versus... Ateneo. Lady Bulldogs looking for win number one this season. Trying to close out 2009 the right way. But things haven't really gone their way here in set number two. You know, I'm expecting that Coach Ness might just field in more of his second stringers. Probably inside the court to get the, at least a feel of the actual game. Which is uh, what Coach Shaq De Los Santos did for UST when they also went up against mm -hmm. NU. That's right. You know, training, training, um, uh, playing practice games is very important. But the actual game itself is different. So I guess that's why coaches usually take advantage of uh, these kinds of uh, game situations. Set was a little bit too low for Tianco. Simon. Free ball here for NU. De La Cruz to Simon. Picked it over the blockers. First good rally we've had so far. Now it's ended. Courtesy of Custodio and the points. Uh, point goes to NU. Going for the serve. Manag, excellent set. That was perfect. Couldn't they couldn't have drawn that up any better? That's right. And the angle, Kabana really knew where she wanted to bring the ball. Remigio is showing us glimpses of what uh, type of setter she could be in the future for FEU. Yanko. Under the ball, Simon. Ulalio, but an excellent save by Reyes of uh, NU for touches for National University. Simon didn't get it across the net.